The next group of uh, diseases we're going to talk about include the rusts. And the first one we're going to talk about is white pine blister rust. Now, white pine blister rust is uh, an interesting disease. It was introduced in the United States, so it's not native to us, although it's, it's done a pretty good job on the eastern white pine and the western white pine. The, one of the ways to identify this particular disease is its name. It called, it's uh, blister rust, and it forms these little blisters on the stems of white pine and other five-needled pines. And here's an example. Here's another example. Uh, causes these little white blisters, and that's why it's called white pine blister rust. This particular fungus also causes a canker in that it kills the cambium. In some t cases, you can see where the cambial death has occurred. In this particular case, it's a different color. So it causes a canker, and it produces these blisters. And in producing the canker, there's a lots of resinosis involved. So it causes a canker, usually a sunken lesion. It produces blisters, and it produces resin. And here's another example. We got blisters. It's caused a canker and lots of resin. Now, the, this particular disease also has an alternate host in that it needs two plants to complete its life cycle. The other host is ribes, and you may see this as well. Uh, on the bottom of the ribes plants, you'll see these orange pustules coming up. So in this particular case, uh, we have ribes with these orange pustules or these spores that are coming up. And this is white pine blister rust on the alternate host. One of the things about uh, ribes, it's also known as gooseberry plants, and, and some people plant these for uh, grapes uh, and jellies and wine, is that uh, these are, in some cases, limited by uh, state plant protection boards. Uh, in fact, uh, the state of Alabama has uh, limits in what you can and cannot plant ribes uh, or gooseberries.